Mountain Valley Spring Water. Now this is, uh, hopefully you're familiar with this brand, it's been around a long time. And this is uh, an old school approach to color, meaning this brand, which has been around for a very long time, came with, um, originally came in green glass bottles. And this is a brand new redesign. There was an opportunity here for, uh, for this organization to go with a very contemporary bottle, to uh, take advantage of all the latest trends uh, in, in consumer insights, and do something really kind of funky and cool. But what they did was they understood their heritage and they understood the meaning of their heritage. This, uh, this usage of green harkens back to uh, its nostalgia and its heritage. And you can imagine that uh, the water in this bottle is exactly the same water that came from this source in the mountains of Arkansas when the brand was, was first launched. Safeway Select. Um, I wanted to include this example because uh, black and gray is an integral part of this color strategy. Uh, I've had a lot of conversations with my clients recently about uh, black and uh, whether it's a good idea to use it in packaging, particularly in food packaging. Uh, a lot of you listening probably know that it's been a controversial color for a long time when it comes to uh, packaging and consumer, uh, consumer goods. Um, very polarizing, but you're seeing more and more of it. And uh, there are some basic associations with black that it's uh, very premium, and um, that that's that's nice, and that's kind of an obvious association, I think. But the use of color and the use of the gray in this particular example is very sophisticated, in that the the gray background uh, married with the the black masthead does a wonderful job of setting apart the product. It frames the product and makes the product that much more precious. While the product is only perhaps 10% of this entire face panel, it's framed and highlighted in a way that makes it feel almost like a museum piece. It makes it really precious. And because this neutral gray surrounds this, uh, this product photography, even something as simple and straightforward as a spring roll looks very, very special. So I think that this is a very sophisticated and um, uh, leading edge use of color, even though it is just black and gray. The Honest Kitchen. This is a line of pet foods, and uh, in addition to the uh, the packaging, I just wanted to, uh, the packaging itself. I wanted to uh, point out in the middle of the face panel. There's a window where you can see the product, and that's integral to the color strategy for this particular brand because it's, it's all natural and it's all honest. And the color of the product is front and center. Uh, you look at this product and you say, well, it's not very appetizing maybe, but you know what? It's very honest. And the color is then used to support that. It's a very rich color, but it's, it's desaturated. Uh, it implies a naturalness and, and a bit of an honesty in the brand itself. And because of its strength, it does a wonderful job of reinforcing the product names, Embark, Verve, Prowl, et cetera. And it's a, a nice example of where color can be used as a tactic to support uh, an overarching strategy. The next example is, is, is one of my favorites because it, frankly, is um, uh, unexpected. This is a line of sherbets and gelato from Chow Bella. And if you look at this, you, you look at the color, the, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the flavor names. There's coconut, there's chocolate, pistachio. None of those colors are the colors you would associate with the flavors. That's because this is not about the flavors, it's about the brand. Uh, you would expect the chocolate to be about, uh, you know, that would be brown and you've got your, uh, uh, chocolate hazelnut, that's gold, and chocolato is uh, another brown. You start to see the problem that you run into when you, when you use color at, in, in versioning. This is about intensity. This is, if you went to their website, you would see that Chow Bella says that their gelatos and their sherbets are all about really intense flavor. These colors, because they use um, contrasting colors and complementary colors, 
And in some cases, colors that you, you would never put together, they kind of jar. The eye looks at these and it vibrates. And there's an excitement that comes just by looking at this. And the color here, the intensity of it, the play with the human eye immediately says, boy, this is really different. And this delivers on the promise of an intense experience. I think it's a very sophisticated use of color and uh, completely revolutionary when you think about most, cho most uh, ice creams and gelatos and things like this where you, everybody says we've got to have a picture of the ice cream and you've, you've got to, if it's chocolate, it's got to be brown, right? Well, this is, a, this is a much bigger idea. Bloom's, uh, Bloomsbury chocolates. Uh, speaking of big ideas, uh, you know, this is, this is all about uh, a clever idea for each one of these, these chocolate packages. Uh, I'm going to start with the one in the front because it's frankly my, my favorite. I've been married for 20 years and uh, looking at this package, I know that that is absolutely accurate um, and some of my close friends at, at work um, can attest to this uh, just from a discussion that I had with them within the last uh, couple weeks. This is the, the essence of happy marriage and it's, it's delivered completely through color and simple layout. Yes, of course, marriage is 50-50. I know that, but you know what? It's really 60-40, and I'm okay with that because I want to remain happily married. This is marital bliss bar. So 60% of it is the pink, uh, the most important part, and 40% uh, of it is the black. And of course, the red for emergency chocolate because that's reinforcing that this is first aid and the blue reinforcing the association with Hanukkah. Uh, it's all very tongue in cheek and it's using color in a very humorous way, but in a very simple, transparent way that gets right to the point.